Hemamali Ramon is a Thai politician who has served as president of Tajikistan since 1992. While he has been praised for bringing stability to Tajikistan after the Thai civil war, he is criticized as being an authoritarian, with groups such as Human Rights Watch citing the jailing of government critics. A campaign to force the return of exiled political dissidents abroad and crackdowns on freedom of expression and freedom of belief. He has also been accused of extensive nepotism. Ramon was born as Emamali Sharipovich Rakhmanov to Sharif Ramanov and Miram Sharifova, a peasant family in Dangara, Kulob Oblast. From 1971 to 1974, he served in the Soviet Union's Pacific Fleet, during which he was stationed in the Primorsky Krai. After completing the military service, Ramon returned to his native village where he worked for some time as an electrician. As rising apparatchik in Tajikistan, he became a chairman of the collective state farm of his native Danghara. According to his official biography, Ramon graduated from the Taik State National University with a specialist degree in economics. In 1982, after working for several years in the Danghara Sovkhoz, Ramon was appointed chairman of the Sovkhoz in 1987. In 1990, Ramon was elected a People's Deputy to the Supreme Soviet of the Thai SSR President Ramon. Nabiev was forced to resign in the first months of the civil war in Tajikistan in August 1992. Akbar Shoh Iskandarov, Speaker of the Supreme Soviet, became acting president. Iskandarov resigned in November 1992 in an attempt to end the civil unrest that same month. The Supreme Soviet met in Khujan for its 16th session and declared Tajikistan a parliamentary republic. Ramon was then elected by the members of the Supreme Soviet as its chairman, a post equivalent to that of president, and the head of government. Former Interior Minister Yakub Salimov later recalled that Ramon's appointment was made because he was nondescript, in which other field commanders thought that he could be cast aside when he had served his. Purpose. During the civil war that lasted from 1992 to 97, Ramon's rule was opposed by the United Taik opposition. As many as 100,000 people died during the war. He survived an assassination attempt on 30 April 1997 in Khujan, as well as two attempted coups in August 1997 and in November 1998. In 1994, a new constitution re established the presidency. Ramon was elected to the post on 6 November 1994 and sworn in 10 days later. Following constitutional changes, he was re-elected on 6 November 1999 to a seven-year term, officially taking 97% of the vote. On the 22nd of June 2003, he won a referendum that would allow him to run for two more consecutive seven-year terms after his term expired in 2006. The opposition alleges that this amendment was hidden in a way that verged upon electoral fraud. Ramon was re-elected to a seven-year term in a controversial election on 6 November 2006, with about 79% of the vote. According to the official results, on 6 November 2013, he was re-elected for the second seven-year term in office, with about 84% of the vote. In an election that the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe said lacked genuine choice and meaningful pluralism. In October of 2020, he was once again re elected as president for a fifth term with a margin of 90.92%, amid allegations of fraud. In December 2015, a law passed by Tajikistan's parliament gave Ramon the title founder of peace and national unity, leader of the nation. A shorter version of the title, Leader of the Nation, is used frequently. In addition to granting Ramon lifelong immunity from prosecution, the law also gave him a number of other lifelong privileges, including veto powers over all major state decisions, the freedom to address the nation and parliament on all matters he deems important, and the privilege of attending all government meetings and parliament sessions. On the 22nd of May 2016, a nationwide referendum approved a number of changes to the country's constitution. One of the main changes lifted the limit on presidential terms, effectively allowing Ramon to stay in power for as many terms as he wishes.
Other key changes outlawed faith-based political parties, thus finalizing the removal of the outlawed Islamic Revival Party from Tajikistan's politics, and reduced the minimum eligibility age for presidential candidates from 35 to 30, enabling Ramon's older son, Rustam Emamali, to run for president any time after 2017. In January 2017, Rustam Emamali was appointed mayor of Dushanbe, a key position which some analysts see as the next step to the top of the government. According to the U.S. ambassador in Tajikistan, Ramon's government is characterized by cronyism and corruption. Ramon and his family control the country's major businesses, including the largest bank. In November 2018, Ramon launched a hydroelectric station to solve energy problems in March 2007. Ramonov changed his surname to Ramon. G.